Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, let me start with yesterday's video. Yesterday's video is probably one of the most public service orientated videos I ever did. You know, where I, I'm not talking about uh, celebrities or anything happening in the news, where I'm trying to share my knowledge of trying to help people, trying to give people tips on on getting help. And not only did it hardly get any views, but it actually got freaking yellow lighted by you, YouTube. Uh, no advertising because of questionable stuff. I, I, whatever I, something I said in there, I, it's these, these darn algorithms. I got to watch everything I say. These algorithms. And uh, I, it actually got yellow lighted. You know, it's one of the, the most public service orientated videos I've ever done. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter anyway because hardly anybody watched it. So when things like this happen, don't 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 mistake me that what I'm saying for whining. I'm just trying to explain today's video. When things like this happen, I just throw everything to the to the wind. I say, you know what? Uh, instead of guessing what people want to see or what people are gonna watch, I'm gonna talk about whatever I want to talk about, what's on my mind. And you know, let the chips fall where they may, you know, because obviously I can't predict what people are going to watch and it doesn't, it doesn't do much good if I try to uh, make videos that help people. So, you know what, maybe I'll just get on here and complain. And that's what I'm going to do today and worry. Uh, okay, the election the other day. Now, the Democrats did very well. I, I was, I had a feeling they would. And this keeps happening. In the 2022 elections, and again this year, 2023, the Democrats are just kicking butt. And that's because, uh, again, I have to so watch what I say. I think they cranked up the algorithms on uh, yellow lighting videos, on, you know, watching what people say. And I have to be so freaking care careful because like two videos got yellow lighted in the last week. And I, I just don't want to get in the habit of having that happen. So I got to watch what I'm saying. Anyway, so like I said, the Democrats have been doing good in the elections. And it's all because of the, the procedure, you know, flipping back the, uh, uh, Roe versus Wade decision and everything and people just the majority even all the Trump voters and Republicans I know every single one I've talked to are are for freedom of choice they are um, you know and they just don't get this and there's something that's been bothering me I've talked about this before but it, it, it just it seems like it's it's coming true it seems like it's happening more and more let me let me let me be more specific here the election what Republicans said after the election and what Donald Trump said at his rally that same night. Let me talk about those two things, okay? Donald Trump, again, again, he talks about dictators. Um, Kim, Kim Jong-un, um, Vladimir Putin, he says there, and, and he talked about Viktor Orban from Hungary. This, these, guy, these guys are like certified, certified dictators, every single one of them. And Trump... He, he he idolizes them. There's no other way to put it. He, you know, he keeps he said it again the other night. He says they're they're very smart people. Why shouldn't I say they're very? You know, the, then he goes like this. He says the new the news always points out that I that I'm saying this. And what he goes, what should I say? Should I say they're very dumb people? No, but you shouldn't idolize them. It, it looks like he's actually envious of them. The way what he says in, in the context that he says this. Like with Victor Orban, he he, he misquoted, he he, he told, and he messed everything up on top of this. With Kim Jong Un, he said that North Korea had 1.2, uh, no, had, had 14 million people or something like that, and and North Korea actually has 1.2 billion people, so he was off by millions. And people and people say that uh, President Biden is getting a little old and misspeaks sometimes. And Trump just messed all this up. And then it, it, about Viktor Orban, he, he messed that up too. He said that uh, Hungary border, he talked about Hungary bordering Russia. Hungary doesn't border Russia. Uh, and on top of that, uh, Hungary has a 20% um, inflation rate. The country's a mess. Uh, and then, you know, and, and he, he idolizes these dictators. You know, he says that, you know, they're very smart people that he, I, he talks about the way that they control these large amounts of people. And, and he, he says that makes them smart. And he says, well, what should I do? Should I call them dumb? No, obviously they're not dumb, but they're dictators. And, and the things that the context that he's saying this in that he's idolizing the way that they control large amounts of people. And that scares me, man. 
All right, let's let's just take it. let's just stop right there on that one. Okay, now going back to, to the election the other uh, the other night, Tuesday night, a lot of Republicans lost. And again, like I, I said, this was going to happen. If Trump run when Trump runs in 2024, if he wins, he's going to take revenge. You can you can see it in his face. He's so angry, and that's just his nature. That he's going to I think he's going to spend the rest of his life. Uh, taking revenge on Democrats, liberals, anybody that talked badly about him. And I, I don't think it's going to be for four years. I don't think he'll, if, if there's an America left after, well, after four years, he, he's not going to relinquish power. Okay, so after the election Tuesday night, again, we hear this about uh, rigged elections. And, you know, they cheated and stuff like that. It just, I, I'll put some links down below. If you, you guys must have seen these, these uh, articles already. Um, and then the whole issue with the uh, procedure. They realize that they're losing because of this issue. And I, there's no, they're never going to go back on it. The conservatives are never going to go back on this issue because they believe they're right. They believe that they're saving lives and all this other stuff. And they, they're starting to talk about how 100% democracy isn't necessarily a good thing. In other words, they're losing elections. They know they're losing elections because of this, this topic. They're not going to change their, their minds on this topic. So what they're going to do is try to take away people's votes so that they can win. Uh, and this, they're, they're actually like with Taylor Swift, uh, getting a bunch of people to register. There's uh, by Dekraswamy saying that, that he, wanted, he doesn't want people under 25 to have the right to vote anymore. They're seriously talking about, I, I went to school with a guy that is a big Trump supporter, and his thing was that people that don't, or aren't working and that, that, that don't have a certain amount of money in their bank accounts shouldn't be allowed to vote. And he was totally serious about this. And that's the way I see things going here, because Republicans aren't winning elections, and they're actually considering taking away some Americans right to vote. If you were born in this country or you're American citizen, you have the right to vote. And then, well, there's the whole thing with the felonies or whatever. It's, you know, there's little, there's other stuff like that, but they see that they're losing elections and they're seriously talking about doing away with like a hundred percent democracy. Donald Trump talking about, you know, idolizing dictators. Oh, I didn't finish that thought. And so then he says, Donald Trump says that the news points him out for idolizing these dictators that he, he says he they're very smart people and he says what should i say should i say they're very dumb people and he goes they, then he says that this he says that's why i call them fake news so why is that fake news they're reporting the truth that he is saying that he likes dictators that he that he he idolizes them and he idolizes them because of their control over billions of people he's idolizing dictators how, how is that fake news? This is the stuff that scares me. Now I'm going to get to the point of all this. I fear what's going to happen in 2024. Because just, just after Tuesday night, you see they're doing this already. I, I said this was going to happen. When Trump runs in 2024, if he wins, he's going to take revenge. I think that's, that's it's going to be just bent, be bent on taking revenge and making sure Republicans never lose again and taking away certain people's rights to vote and other rights. And uh, if he if he actually loses, do you think he's going to admit he lost after what you saw Tuesday night with these other Republicans? They're all going this route about rigged elections. Do you think he's going to say he lost? If he wins, we're going to have just years of revenge. If he loses, he's never going to admit he lost. Never, especially after what I saw Tuesday night. So we're going to have this whole January 6th thing again, except a hundredfold. These are the things that scare me. Um, this is the point of all this. I, I'm scared for the future because when and if, if and when Donald Trump does take power again, I believe he's going to take revenge and he's going to try to silence people. He's going to try to take away freedom of speech. He talks about fake news and, and he's already talked about uh, taking away freedom of speech from certain uh, liberal media outlets. Okay, so my YouTube channel. I'm on here every week, every day. I used to be every day, uh, you know, talking about how I dislike Trump, how he's dangerous and all this other stuff, how Republicans and conservatives, or even more than that, like um, uh, Bo the Fifth Column with his, you know, he gets these millions of views and he's out there and he lives in Florida, 
the don't say whatever state, uh, you know, and what I fear is when Republicans take control or Donald Trump does take control again, people like me, people like Bo the fifth column are going to be singled out. And here's some of the things that I'm scared about, uh, you know, being persecuted, but I'm looking forward to getting my social security in what, five, seven years. I worked 35, 40 years of my life. I paid into it for 35, 37 years of my, my life. And I'm looking forward to collecting that money that I paid into it. And the thing that scares me is that if and when Donald Trump does take power again, that he's going to take away rights from people like me or people like Bo the Fifth Column, saying that we're unpatriotic or that we're putting out fake news. And uh, you know, this is what I see coming. This is, and and I, I, I believe this even more with Tuesday's election and the Trump rally Tuesday. All right, let me know what you think. I know I rambled, but hey, who cares? Is anybody going to watch this video anyway? I'll be back later with another video. You guys have a good Friday.